Daniel Sports Central, we'll be giving you guys our bowl season college football rankings for the 2023 college football season. We are headed into the best part of the year. It is bowl season coming up, and we'll be talking about the top 25 here today as we look forward to this postseason. So with that, let's get started with one through seven. Obviously, the college football playoff revealing was as controversial as ever this season. Rightfully so. I mean, you consider the top four teams in the country right now versus uh, who probably should be in the playoff, it's going to be different. And what the committee did was they put in who they believed uh, to be the four best teams in the country, and I do agree with it. I got Michigan at one, Washington at two, Texas at three, and then Alabama at four. And I've got Florida State way down at seven. I'll start with them first. I mean, this is a team that went 13-0, and won the ACC, and everyone's going to say, I mean, the ACC is a Power 5 conference. This is an undefeated team who just won it. Why aren't they in the playoff? Well, the truth is, you look at the past couple of games for this team, they lost their star quarterback. If Jordan Travis was uh, still in a quarterback for this team, they would probably be, uh, they'd probably be number three in the playoffs, I would imagine, taking on Washington right now. And you consider the way their offense has been ever since he uh, got injured, it just hasn't been the same. And that's the truth of it right now. If you consider all of these top seven teams, every team in the top seven right now, if you put Florida State against Alabama or Texas or Washington or even Michigan, who's going to be favored and who's probably going to win? And that the truth is, when you consider Florida State's offense right now without their star quarterback, I mean, Florida State's going to have a really tough time scoring more than 20 points considering they only put up 16 on Louisville. And also based on the fact we haven't really seen Florida State much without their starting quarterback, that's also been a reason for a little bit of doubt on Florida State. And so while I think the Seminoles are probably deserving of being in the top four, they aren't a top four team in the country right now. That's just the best way you can put it right now. And I do agree with the committee doing that, even though, I mean, once again, I feel like Florida State deserves it more than Alabama or even Texas. They're 13 and 0, won the ACC. They probably deserve it more, but the truth is, they're just not a top four team in the country right now. Their defense is excellent, but their offense, I just don't know if if they are when it comes down to it. So I do have Florida State at seven. I feel like if you put them against Oregon or even Georgia right now, I would probably favor both teams over Florida State. So that's my reasoning for putting them way down at seven. But once again, if this offense was still at a high level, you'd probably see them at number three. But Michigan, number one, they shut out Iowa 26 to nothing. I considered putting the Huskies at one. Uh, just based on their win over Oregon, which was extremely impressive. The Huskies tend to find a way. This is a team that's played a lot of close games down the stretch. That's a big reason why they were kind of an underdog, and they were actually a big underdog in that matchup against the Ducks. And they came around and they found a way, and that's been kind of the theme down the stretch for the Huskies. And this team is 13-0, and I feel like Michigan-Washington 1-2 makes perfect sense. Uh, and for Michigan, obviously, shutting out Iowa there was – Impressive performance, and really, I mean, for Michigan, it's a tough draw playing Alabama. I know the Crimson Tide, maybe not quite as good as some years under Nick Saban, but based on the way this team came out and played Georgia, beat them 27-24, to Georgia, the back-to-back -back national champions. I mean, and a Nick Saban coach team, by the way, is extremely dangerous to play in the postseason. I would not want to play Alabama right now, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I know they, obviously, that close win against Auburn that was basically a miracle already seems distant just because of the way Alabama found a way over Georgia and just the significance of that win as well for the Crimson Tide beating the back-to-back -back national champions things have flipped a full 180 in a matter of a week you consider a couple of weeks ago the way this team struggled against an Auburn team that was just blown out to New Mexico State I mean things have flipped a full 180 since then and suddenly this team is a team that could absolutely beat Michigan and go on to win a national championship. So it's insane in college football. Things can flip in a matter of a game. But Alabama's at four. Texas very deserving of number three. By the way, this team is red hot right now. They honestly, you could argue, are the hottest team heading into the college football playoff. Just beat Oklahoma State 49-21. to The Cowboys are a good team, a well-coached team, and Texas found a way and were dominant. Uh, very much deserving of jumping up to number three and I mean, it's insane, too. You think about how Texas and Alabama both were kind of on the outside looking in for much of the second half of the season. And then in a matter of a week, just the conference championships happen, and there's Texas at three, Alabama at four. So but out of your top four, I feel like, I mean, each team has got their own storyline. Michigan, uh, probably the most dominant powerhouse in, in the top four, a team that's 
been incredible in the past few years, but has yet to win that national championship in their uh, the more dominant, the most experienced team in the playoff as well. Then you got Washington, a team that tends to always find a way. You got Texas, who's red hot, and they've been dominant. And then you got Alabama team with Nick Saban that you can never forget about. Kind of the dark horse you know, that's in the background that could totally win it. So uh, it's going to be an incredible playoff, that's for sure. I've got Georgia right on the outside at number five. I feel like this team is being overlooked right now, too. I feel like, I mean, Georgia, they lost to Alabama by three points for the SEC title game, and that's Right now, I feel like that's all people are looking at is solely that lost Alabama. You consider the way Georgia played in the regular season, the way they were so dominant against the best teams that they played. I mean, Georgia should not be overlooked. I know they dropped from one to six, which is pretty aggressive considering it was just a three-point loss to Alabama of all teams. Uh, I've, I've got them going from one to five, but the truth is, it's the depth of college football playoff contenders this season. There were eight national contenders heading into conference championship weekend. You got to narrow that down to four somehow. And based on the way Texas played, based on the way Alabama played, Washington undefeated, won the Pac-12 in the way that they did. Michigan won the Big Ten in the way that they did. Obviously, Florida State is undefeated as well, but they're just not the same team right now. So uh, that's why I've got them at seven. But for Georgia... I mean, this is a team that shouldn't be overlooked. They still had an incredible season, and they should not be defined by a three-point loss to Alabama. Oregon's number six. They lost to Washington 31-34, to but just based on the way they played and the way they looked there, I know they're a two-loss team, and I've got a two-loss team in front of Florida State here, but if you put Oregon against Florida State, I would probably pick the Ducks to win that matchup, especially if Bo Nix was still around. I mean, the Pac-12 is an incredible conference this season, and based on the way Oregon played down the stretch, I mean, it's a tough loss. And obviously coming out flat did not help them against the Huskies uh, in that matchup. But in the end, Oregon is also an incredible team that I think should be ranked uh, probably number six. And we talked about Florida State got them at seven. Eight through 14, there's Ohio State moving them down two because of uh, making way for Alabama and Texas. Everything else stays the same. Missouri at nine, Penn State at 10, Arizona at 11. This team has been incredible in the second half of the season, very much deserving of being number 11. Then you got Ole Miss and LSU, and then Oklahoma at number 14. Oklahoma-Arizona is going to be an incredible bowl matchup. Yeah, too bad that Dylan Gabriel is going to be gone, but uh, still an incredible matchup. Probably the best one. I mentioned this in my bowl reaction video. Probably the most intriguing bowl matchup outside of the New Year's Six. And then at 15 through 21, Notre Dame at 15, NC State at 16. Do have NC State moving up just based on the way they've played down the stretch. Uh, same with Clemson. Clemson's really started to come around down the stretch as well, uh, despite being a four-loss team. Louisville's 10-3. and three. They lost to Florida State, obviously, 6-16 to 16 in the ACC title game. Uh, so that moves them down two behind NC State and Clemson, which you'll be you'll probably say, uh, will Louisville beat this team and this team this season? Why are they behind them? It's based on the way they've played down the stretch. And I feel like if NC State or Clemson played Louisville right now, both teams would probably win those matchups. Then you got Oklahoma State at 19. They lost to Texas 21 to 48, but still keeping them in the same position. Kansas State at 20 as uh, moving up three positions, and then Oregon State moving down uh, one position to 21. And then 22 through 25, Tennessee's there moving up two positions. Iowa moves down six. I know they just played in a conference title game, and you probably shouldn't move them down very much. But they got shut out 0-26. to And based on the way their offense has played in general this season, I mean, this is a strong defensive team. But their offense is so bad to the point where it's like, how is this a 10-win team? So for Iowa and Tennessee, they are facing off in, what, the Citrus Bowl this, uh, this postseason. Tennessee can score 20 points. Congrats, you won the Citrus Bowl uh, because Iowa simply does not have an offense. Yeah, so that's why I've got them moving down six. And they got SMU and Liberty. I do have SMU as the top-ranked group of five team. They beat Tulane 26 to 14. They are a two-loss team. And, I mean, if you're the committee, you got to keep Liberty a 13-0 team ahead of SMU. But SMU should be taking on Oregon, I think, in the Fiesta Bowl, uh, just based on the way they've played down the stretch. They've got a stronger strength of schedule than Liberty. I think Liberty is, there's like a stat there. They've got the worst strength of schedule of anybody in the FBS. I know they're 13-0, but still, I just don't have much confidence that Liberty can uh, really compete with a team like Oregon. Who knows? They can surprise. But SMU, I do think, is the best group of five team this season. 
and then uh, Liberty rounding out at 25. Got James Madison at 26. They're kind of on the same level as SME and Liberty as well. Uh, Utah at 27. Troy right behind. And then Kansas and Miami, Ohio. What a season for them. 11 and 2 got them in the first five out as well. And Tulane dropping out. I've been super conservative on Tulane all season. Haven't had much confidence in them. And it kind of showed in the American Athletic Championship when they lost to uh, SMU in, in bad fashion for sure. But with that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this top 25. Final top 25 pretty much of the season. We'll do a final ranking after uh, the national championship, but otherwise that's about it. A lot of bowl previews coming. I'm, I think we're going to start tomorrow with those, and, uh, and that will take us all the way through the rest of December. So lots of content on the way. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.